Hey, how's it going? Hope you're having a great day. It is a beautiful sunny day here in the ghetto. Today we are looking at the Rama Kara. 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 Here it is with GMK dots in the soya colorway. You might have just picked one up or you're thinking about it, but you're not sure whether or not you want to pick up the internal dampener or the internal weight. Well, hopefully I can help you figure out which one you like more or if you even need one. And we will be using good old marshmallows. All right, so quick rundown of the Kara. It is a 60% injection molded keyboard designed by RamaWorks. The Kara features Rama's mute mounting system. It comes with a hot swappable PCB, meaning you can swap between switches without having to solder and desolder over and over. And it also has very bright RGB LEDs. The board was sold for 160 US dollars plus shipping. And there were six different color variations to choose from. Swapping the internals is quite a breeze. With only seven screws to deal with, there's four Torx screws that hold the board together and three that hold the internal component in its place. It's a very easy and quick process. But what we're focusing on today are the two internals that were optional extras that weren't included in the basic kit, which is the internal dampener that cost 45 US dollars and the internal weight, which costs 85 US dollars, but it's not in stock. So how heavy is this $85 chunk of metal? When built without either of the two internals, the car weighs in at about 628 grams or 1.38 pounds. With the dampener, it weighs in at 730 grams or 1.61 pounds. With the internal weight, it weighs almost twice as much as it does with the dampener. But what does that mean in regards to sound? All right, so just before we jump into the typing test, I should mention, never base your judgment of a board solely on what you see on YouTube videos, like how it sounds. I can't stress this enough. So yeah, just never base your judgment on that. This video is to just show you the difference between all three of them. If you want to learn more about this, there's a really great video from Black Simon. I'll link it up here. Yeah, you should definitely check him out. And if you stick around after the test, I'll let you guys know which one I prefer the least and the most. Take a big guess. Wow, you've made it this far. So which one did you like the most or the least? Did you not like any of them? I really thought I would like the weight, but got to give it to the rubber mute here. It just sounded better. It's preference, right? Let me know which ones you guys liked down in the comments section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to see more, I'll be building that guy next, the Time 80. Until next time, thanks for tapping with me today. Toodles.